Hi everyone, my name is T and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be touring two of my favourite content creators on Animal Crossing New Horizons. And that is Liz the Lass and Katie on Color Cove. I have watched them both for a long time now, especially at the start of this year when I went through a really, really difficult time in my life. And these two quickly became my favourite content creators as well as my comfort content creators. I'm sure if you're watching me, you would have heard of these lovely people before, but nonetheless, all their socials, dream addresses, everything will be linked below. Right, let's get right into it. I'll meet you guys at the airport. All right, if you can tell by the flag, you might already know that this is Lister Lass's Island Tiny Town Squared. All right, let's check out her map. All right, so we have Liz herself, Lyman, Gail, Tangy, Norma, Silvana, Ooh. Joey, Lily, Punchy, Marcel, and Shino. Absolutely love her flag. <laughs> and the orange airport. I'm gonna have an orange airport for my next island. I'm so excited. All right, I should probably also mention that this is gonna be a relatively quick um, go through of their island because they both have their full island tours in depth on their own channels. But I just absolutely wanted to come do this for my own channel because I love these two. They have been such an inspiration for my own island. Absolutely, hi Marcel. <laughs> absolutely love the codes that she lists the, she lists the last uses i'm hoping to use something similar for my island too all right coming up through here we have her oh we got a yard sale hold on let's head back i see it up there oh there's Liz herself kill boss <laughs> i love it I love how easy it is to get through her island as well. Being able to move through it quite easily without getting stuck on too many items. So she has her three villages here. It's a laundry. This is the yard sale. What do we got down here? Oh, and this is just a pretty yard. Ooh, like a little garden. Love it. Of course, we got like a little, I guess a little mini orchard with all the fruit. Absolutely needed. A little snack section, navy D. All right, coming up and over the bridge. Oh, I love, 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 love this code. I believe it's from Crystal Cat. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. Very cute fountain. Oh, and then we have Lissa's house herself. I won't be entering her house today, but of course, please go check it out for yourself. It's so cute. And her museum, I absolutely love the way that she decorated her museum. Like the little gazebo. And just a little, little like sitting area at the front. For Brewster, I love it. I love the use of these tubs. So, so, so cute. All right, let's come up this incline. I, oh, no, wrong one. <laughs> I absolutely love that code. That is so cute. Absolutely adorable. Well, Lister Lass has absolutely inspired me to do this for my next island as well. Just so how everything is easy to spawn, I know where it is, and I can go straight there. And then having the um, the wardrobe, the cupboards that we can get straight into our inventory. Love it. Also, I know she'll be updating her DA code, so I'm so happy that I'm able to get to this as it's still spring. I also love this little area. I think it's so adorable. Look at that. Oh, I absolutely love it. I love how bright and colorful this is. I never use color on my island. So to see this is just super cute and super happy. Oh, let's go down here. I also have no particular path for this tour either. Oh, I love this. And the wheat field. Can't go with wrong without the wheat field. 
as well as the tractor. So cute. Little farm area, all the crops, so they are up easily accessible whenever you need to do your cooking. This is Norma and Gail's house. Love it. Oh, I believe this should be, material should be done. Unfortunately, no, it wasn't done. It must have been done after the DA was released. So I'm super excited to tour her island once she releases her new DA in the summer. I love the 7-Eleven. So cute. Oh, hi, Lyman. And coming back. Oh, coming down through here, actually. Yes, I love this little area. So cute. You can order your little ice cream. <laughs> I love the cars. They're so cute. All right. So coming up and around through here. Oh, yes. You have a little um, park and playground. Very cute. And I'm definitely 100% I'll be having a basketball court somewhere on my island. I'm a big fan of basketball. So very excited about that. And use of cars with the little gas station. Very happy about that. Very, very cute. Now, I believe this is Tangy's house. Yes, Tangy literally has my favorite yard, I think, that she has done on her island. I think it's super cute and cozy. I absolutely love it. And coming up over here, we got seem to have like a little bit of a neighborhood going. At least maybe this is Shino's house. Very sweet, very cute. I'm gonna take a photo there. I love that. All right. What do we got? Over oh yes, this is the boardwalk. Absolutely love this. I think it's so pretty and so cute. Oh, I love it. Like I said, the bright colors just make me feel so happy. Oh, and that's her secret beach down there. Again, super sweet, very cute. Oh, can I climb up here? Yes. I'm going up and around. Oh, we've got a cute little fishing spot there. Oh, that's right, and this is her campsite. I love it. Ooh, and we'll come down through here. And we've got a cute little picnic bench, or like, I guess more of the extension of the campsite. I love it. A little barbecue area to do some grilling. So cute. Oh, what's around over here first? Oh, the bath. I love that bathtub. So cute. Oh, yeah, and this is the flower field again. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's head on back. Oh, we got a cute little construction site. Oh, I love the use of all the construction um, vehicles. Can you come in through here? Yes. I love how like movable it is on her island. Oh, oh what have we got down here? Another ladder. So cute. Oh yeah, and we've already been around around through here. <laughs> so let's head back over this bridge. Oh yes, and this brings us to her resident services. This section here, I love it so so much. That's of course where we started the um, tour. Her resident services is super cute. I love it so much. Oh you look! I didn't notice this. Oh, that is so cute. Karopi Bridge and the soccer court. So, so, so cute. I believe there's more at the front of the island. Can I squish through here? Yes. Yes, there is. Hi, Liz. <laughs> We've got the yards at the front here, which brings us to the Able Sisters. Oh, and back to the airport. So if I head back over here, Yes, I believe she actually has gotten rid of all this area here for her new island, so I'm super excited to be able to tour it. 
but I love, 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 love the little stalls that she's done. Again, so bright, so colourful and very happy. Makes me very happy. How cute is this? And her beaches, I believe, are not done either. It's like a little post office. So cute. And this is her area where she changes it up for the seasons and the events that are happening. Now, if I come up over here. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's it for Lissa Lass's Island, Tiny Town Squared. I think it's time we, uh, we move on to Katie and Cala Cove's Island. All right. Now we're visiting Katie's Island, Cala Cove, which is obviously the name of her channel as well. Um, and she also has a green airport. I also have a green airport on my current island. And I absolutely love it. All right, let's get right into her island. All right, let's start at the top. So we've got Katie, we have Kyle, Bo, Nan, Silvana, Julian, Winnie, Tad, Grizzly, Angus, Pearl, and Olive. All right, so Katie on Calico's island is actually set before the 2.0 update, so I'm super excited and just remembering how it used to be before we got all those items. It was so much more difficult to decorate back in those days as well. We had to get way more creative with our items and I remember when Katie and Calico released her DA Day um, trailer first and I was so excited, absolutely so excited when the DA got released. Oh. She's got such stunning views. Oh, hi. How beautiful. Oh, hi, Tad. <laughs> so coming on through this way. I love this um, design on the floor. I haven't seen anything quite like this before. Or even in anything recent. Oh yeah, I should say hello as well. Check out my treehouse. I remember the treehouse. Oh, actually, and if we run back over to resident services, we do oh, <laughs> have some goodies. So we do have a ladder because we do need that. We open it and yeah, post photo. Love it. Oh, sorry Kyle. Thank you. All right, so we'll quickly go past Able Sisters. Hi, Nan. Then come to Nook's Cranny. Oh, this is just deck. Oh, I've got the bridge at the top there. Oh, I love it. We have the bikes here. An orchard. Is this an orchard? Yes. Oh, I absolutely love it. I feel like my orchard's way too, like, square. And this feels way more natural. So Katie and Calico is actually the, one of the reasons I fell in love with more natural styled um, builds with the more overgrown and oh no, am I stuck? Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh no, this tour isn't going as well as I planned. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, coming up through here. <gasps> A little bar. I love it. Of course we've got the KK bubblegum playing. Is it bubblegum? I think it is. <laughs> I could be wrong. Alright, coming up through here. Oh yes, and a land bridge. I remember having to use the jail bars and now we have the actual like fence item. I actually haven't seen the jail bars being used too often anymore. Here. Is this the treehouse? Yes, I remember the build and I remember her doing the glitch here to get the trees to look like it's sitting on top of the code. Yes, and as you can see, I'll just bring my camera out, I won't go down. That was, oh no, if I go this way, that was the build that they did, a whole, her and a bunch of other YouTubers. They did a build on the side there. They did a challenge. I remember watching that, it was very cute. 
Let's come back down through. I also won't be going through the houses, of course, if you want to come see them. You can jump on here yourself. Can't spoil everything. <laughs> oh, how stunning is this? That's so beautiful. Now, from memory, if I come back over here, this was where the campsite was. Yes. How beautiful is this? It just goes to show, even before the 2.0 items, you can still make your island stunning. Actually, you know what? This is definitely a photo moment. How beautiful is that? Oh, I love it. Alright, let's head on up. Oh, how cute is this? I remember everyone doing their libraries and little builds outside. So cute. And then whenever I tried to make it, oh my god, I, I just couldn't. It, it looked terrible. This is beautiful. Oh, and there's Katie. Oh, hold on. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So cute. And this is her secret beach. Oh. I remember everyone going crazy over the kids' tent when they were released during the Christmas. I myself am one of those people. <laughs> All right, where to go next? Let's... Oh, is that, that was Julian's house just up there. Let's run all the way around. Now, I remember her filming the build of this and I fell in love. I didn't know like that these could look so good. The dropped um, star fragments. And oh my God, I dropped them all over my island <laughs> straight after I saw this build. Absolutely stunning. All right, let's head down through here. Oh, how beautiful is this? Oh, and a cute little fishing area. Making the rocks into a dock. I love that. She actually inspired me to do my little dock at front of my beach. Um, because I just absolutely love the way it looked. And then when we got the boats for the 2.0 update, oh fell in love even more. Now, I think actually, I'm gonna climb. Let's hope I don't get stuck again. All right, I couldn't work out how to get around up through there, so I found my way back up this way. And I also remember this build. Ah, oh, stunning. It's like a little garden shop and I loved it. And I had no idea that you could put the codes on top of the in-game pathing at the time either. And I was like, mind blown, absolutely mind blown when she did it. All right, let's come back down here. All right, let's run across to the other side of the island now. Oh, I absolutely love the outdoor cinema. I had a friend who recreated this after seeing this as well. And heading up. I love this on the beach. So cute. I also tried to recreate this and I just could not get it. Oh, I am so jealous. This is so cute. Alright, what do we have up through here? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, this is where the museum is. Let's keep walking back up through here. Absolutely love it. This is so cute. Oh, we got Angus. It's down through here. Oh, I think this is where I was trying to get to before with the climbing. <laughs> got the tree. I gotta, you've gotta use stunted trees more in the farm cause. Now that we've got the farm, um, like the crops, I definitely see less of this being used and I absolutely love it. Oh wait, no, this isn't where we were trying to get to before. So, oh, this is on the other side of the um, campsite. So 
so cute. The little barns with the simple panels. Stunning, just stunning. Ah, here it is. Here I was trying to get to. How very cute. Oh, how nice is this? Oh, I love it. How adorable. All right, now. Can I? No. I believe there was a lookout. Ah, yes, here. The use of the ladders would be so good on these islands now. Like the permanent built ones. All right, let's do the trick. Yes, look how beautiful that is. So overgrown. Love it. Alright, let's head down. And get a full look of the museum. Oh, there's Grizzly. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. This is so cute. Alright guys, I think that brings us to the end of today's video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today. Um, I definitely got a little bit lost at the end there with uh, Katie's Island. But I hope that everyone enjoyed and if you can consider liking and subscribing, that would mean the absolute world to me. And please go make sure to check out these content careers. I'm sure, I'm sure if you're watching me, you've definitely seen them before. But nonetheless, um, they're wonderful content creators and I absolutely love watching them. Oh, and there's Katie coming onto the screen. I love it. Alright guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Bye!